Hi guys, welcome back to Logan Live. So for today's video, I wanted to do a Netflix recommendations video because I love Netflix and I've been watching a lot of new shows lately and a lot of new shows like Netflix originals and stuff have been coming out. So um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through my favorite shows and why I like them and just a like brief summary of like the pilot episode and the series as a whole and yeah, so let's just get into it. So first up, we have Gossip Girl. So Gossip Girl is my favorite TV show of all time. I love it. I've seen it four times through, I believe. Um, it has Blake Lively, Penn Badgley, Leighton Meester, Jace Crawford, and Ed Westwick in it. Those are the main characters. And it's basically about a group of teenagers, well, they start out as teenagers in high school, who live in Upper East Side, New York City, and who go to private school. And then Dan Humphrey, who is played by Penn Badgley, is um, from Brooklyn, but he also goes to the private school, so he kind of like gets like brought in to this Upper East Side life. And then the series is called Gossip Girl because there is a gossip website that follows the teenagers of the private school's lives and posts all about it and there's like tips sent in and everything like that. And the series is just figuring out who Gossip Girl is and then on the last episode you figure out who Gossip Girl is. Um, definitely check out Gossip Girl and if you haven't watched it, Tell me what you think. Um, I love it, but I know some of my friends can't get into it, um, but it gets better, and it's my favorite TV show because New York is my favorite city, and I love to write, so it, like, combines, um, like, the artistic side of me and my favorite city together, which I love. Okay, next we have Glee. So before I started watching Gossip Girl, Glee was my favorite TV show. Um, I loved Glee. I've seen it six times all the way through. Um, and yeah, like I said, Glee was my favorite for a really long time. I watched Glee probably when I was like 13 or 14, and I'm 17 now. But the main characters in Glee are Leah Michelle and Corey Monteith. Um, and it's basically about a group of high schoolers. Again, they start out as high schoolers that go to high school in Lima, Lima Ohio and um, they start a glee club and it's basically like a rivalry about them being losers and getting bullied for being in glee and it just turns into like this amazing thing um, and they go to competitions and all that stuff and they become really good friends. I would say the main premise of the show is like not worrying about fitting in and kind of just being yourself and how music brings people together and great friendships are created and it also is a very it's a show that's very much ahead of its time um, with some issues that we have today it started in 2009 or 2010 and it ended in 2015 so it was very ahead of its time in like cultural issues just kind of like I guess pop culture and stuff like problems that we have today uh, if you like music definitely watch it it's a very very touching show. Next is a show that I just finished like two weeks ago and it's called Parenthood. So Parenthood is a show that I've been wanting to watch for a really 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 long time. And I just never got around to watching it. And it is one of the best shows. It is so underrated I think in culture today. Like it's just it's not a show you hear a lot about and it's fairly new. Like it just ended a few years ago I think. The premise of the show is about one huge family and basically like the struggles and problems that they have which are very very real problems. I think that everyone can relate to parenthood because you know like they're everyday issues that people have to deal with. Um, but there's Camille and Zeke which are the grandparents or the matriarch and patriarch of the family and they have four children, Julia, Sarah, Crosby and Adam and then they all have kids and families and you get like the struggles of the adults, the struggles of the grandparents, the struggles of relationships, friendships, teenagers, little kids. Um, they cover a lot of just really real issues that everyday people have to deal with. Um, next on my list is Pretty Little Liars. So I wouldn't say that this is my favorite TV show because Gossip Girl and Glee definitely be Pretty Little Liars, but I do love this show. Um, I have several other videos on PLL and I will link them down below along with any other videos that I have related to Netflix. Pretty Little Liars I watched for the first time I think freshman year um, and I had finished it in time for season 7 to air so I watched season 7 as it aired so I was in time for that. I was actually in Europe when the finale aired which is a pretty cool story. But the show is basically about 
five teenage girls who grow up in Rosewood, Pennsylvania, um, and one of the five girls goes missing. After the girl that goes missing, whose name is Allie, the other four girls, which are Spencer, Emily, Aria, and Hannah, all get these texts from an anonymous person named A, and there are, se there are seven seasons of the show and several A's that you kind of have to like figure out who it is, so it's kind of like a murder mystery, and it's definitely a crime show, murder show, mystery show, um, and I think it's really fun to watch because you kind of get to like try to figure out who A is, but after you go back and watch it like the second time and you know who the A people are, you get to like pick up on those clues that the show left so that was cool next up we have to all the boys i've loved before so i'm sure you've seen this movie it has noah centineo and lana condor i think her name is um but it's about a girl named lara jean who writes all these love letters to people that she has had crushes on over the years and the letters get out and it's just like a really really cute love story i love this movie it's a netflix original and it's a book i'm reading the book right now um, highly recommend if you haven't seen the movie. Next up is Bird Box. So Bird Box is a Netflix original movie which really really surprised me. They did a really good job. Bird Box could have totally done well in the theaters but props to Netflix for making such a good movie. Um, Bird Box has Sandra Bullock in it. I'm sure that you guys already know that. Um, but this is a really really dark and emotionally invested movie. Like it is you get into it when you watch it um it's basically kind of like about it's kind of about the end of the world and um how sandra bullock's character kind of deals with staying alive um but i loved 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 bird box so good so well done um and i was really surprised that it was a netflix original next is riverdale i have a lot to say about riverdale the thing with riverdale is that season one i watched and I watched it several months after it came out and season one had me hooked. I watched like I think all of season one. This was like over the summer, a couple summers ago I think whenever season one came out. But it took me like two days to watch season one of Riverdale because it had me hooked. I think there's only 13 episodes though but that's besides the point. Um, and I absolutely loved it. Um, then we got to season two which started airing on The CW. That season was good, okay? I liked it. Um, I thought it was interesting. Now we're in season three. I don't know how I feel. So, that's my take on it. But I do recommend watching season one on Netflix. It's very good. Um, it's season one is basically just about a teenager who was murdered and it's like them trying to figure out who murdered him so it's worth it to watch season one so next up is Fuller House um, I love Fuller House it's not really in the genre of TV shows that I watch because I usually watch like teen drama TV shows but I love 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 Fuller House it is so funny um, I probably wouldn't watch it if it wasn't based off of like Full House but I do love it. I've watched all seasons. I think they're hilarious. They're so funny. And they are cheesy. And people are always getting down on them for being cheesy. But they're supposed to be cheesy. Like, they're so funny. I love them. Next up is The Carrie Diaries. So, I love The Carrie Diaries. And this is one of those shows that I advocate for because it deserved so many more seasons than it got. I'm pretty sure it only got two seasons. It might have gotten three, but I think it only got two. Um, and it deserved way more. It could have been easily a six season show easily. I thought it was so good. It's basically about a high schooler who wants to live in Manhattan and be a writer um, and it's just about her high school life and her career and kind of where she's going. Um, I really liked it. So the last series is The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina which is based off Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the sitcom, and the Sabrina comics. Um, the show I'm pretty sure takes place like one town over from Riverdale I think. It's called Greendale and it's about a girl who's a witch and she goes to witch school but she also goes to normal school and Ross Lynch is in it. Um, a lot of crazy things go down and earlier I know I said I don't like supernatural shows but this is one of the very few supernatural shows that I watch um this is about as supernatural as it gets so yeah the last four are movies my first movie on the list is Mamma Mia 
if you have not seen Mamma Mia, then that's your fault. Like, you need to watch it. We have a movie called Before We Go, um, and Chris Evans is in the movie. And this also takes place in New York City. And it's just, like, a romantic movie. I love it. Um, it's not the kind of movie that you would really see in theaters. It's more like of a film festival kind of movie, which I like. Um, and I really like it. If you've seen it, tell me what you think of it. The last two are, like, horror slash thriller movies. They're really, really good. The first one is 47 Meters Down with Mandy Moore. And the movie's about two sisters who go to Mexico for vacation. And they go on, like, a really sketchy, like, shark tour um, thing and you go down in a cage under the water to like look at sharks and the cage ends up sinking to the bottom. The ending will take you on a trip. It's wild. The very last thing on my list of recommendations is a movie called Dismissed. Um, I'm pretty sure it's still on Netflix. It has Dylan Sprouse in it and he plays this crazy character. Like, he's actually crazy. He does crazy things to his teacher. He's a student at a high school. He's, like, kind of like a stalker. I don't know. I think it's really scary. Um, definitely watch it. I watched it on a plane um, going to California, I think, and I loved it. I thought it was really good. Um, so, yeah, that is it for my list of recommendations. Like I said, I will have any videos that I mentioned in this video plus any other Netflix-related videos that I have linked down below in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.